been said that if they go to one side, they're male. If they go to the other side, they're female. I don't know which side it is. But the coolest thing about it is when they start swimming upright, they have eyes on both sides of the head. As they start to go down here, you can see that both eyes are on the top of them. One of the coolest things about flatfish is they can actually see back about this far. They can see level on the ground, and they can see all the way around them. Is it like bus eyes? Kind of, yeah, but their, their eyes, can you can feel the, the orbital. They can really move around, so they have really good vision. When they go down, <clears throat> one of the reasons that they are hidden is because when they go down, they, they flutter these fins, and it covers them with sand, so they don't look like anything. They, they have really good camouflage. And if they're swimming upright, if you're swimming underneath them, you can see this, but you can't really see it because the color of the sky is white. So it has, they have really good camouflage. They have a lateral line that's a little funky in comparison to other fish. If you look at it, you can see the lateral line right here. It goes like this, and then it goes straight down. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the fish into fletches. Fletches one section. Right, so I'm going to show you on this side how to make two fletches. Each fish would have four fletches. And on the other side, I'm going to show you how to take both fletches off in one fill okay? So, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to trim the fin. So you're going to hold on to the fin. Come in here and trim the fin off. What, could we determine that this fish is fresh or not? Yes. How? The redness of the fins. The redness of the fins, good. Where else would I look? Uh, the gills, the eyes. What would I look for in the eyes? Cloudiness. Cloudiness and bulgy, right? One of the things, sometimes people will say that the red eyes are bad. Um, the red eyes can actually be because of the water. Uh, a lot of the water that's used in making ice has chlorine in it. And the chlorine, if anyone swam in a pool, know, you know that the chlorine makes your eyes red. As well as other things that make your eyes red. But generally there's cotton in it. But the uh, bulging eyes is good. Bulging eyes is good. Bulging eyes is a sign of freshness. If you push the eye in and it springs back, like those eyes that pop right back up, are, those are fresh. Skin. Imagine someone actually touching your eye like that. That's right. Oh. <laughs> uh, so on this one, we're going to come down, right down the middle line. The, the lateral line is actually generally right above the vertebrae. So if you're using that as a guideline, it's going to be a good way. So I'm not going to follow this funkiness. I'm going to follow it straight right here. I'm going to cut down to the vertebrae and out the tail. What's the tail called? The tail fin? Pop in, right? Then I'm going to come in up over the vertebrae and slide out the tail. So now you can kind of see I have two pieces right here. I'm going to come over the vertebrae and out. So this is where you're going to really utilize the flexibility of that bony knife. It should be. It's fairly flexible. So just what you're doing is going across several bones at once. And that's ideally what you want to do. And then you're going to come up into the head, do the same thing, cut around the gill plate and down, and then take that off. Like that. So there's one fletch. Alright, then we'll come in and do the second fletch. So come in, you can see where the vertebrae is. So make an incision right behind that vertebrae, and then you're just going to follow the vertebrae down and out those bones. Here I'm going over the belly. So this is where the belly is. So that's the bottom pieces. All right, and then to take the top pieces off. Of this one. Right now I'm going to take the top pieces off in one fail swoop. So I'm going to come around the gill plate here, up into the head, gill plate underneath. I'm going to start on one side. And what I'm doing is looking for those bones. And then once you find the bones, it's just gliding over the top of them. So now I found them. Pull that back. Utilize that knife to get in there.
So just keep rolling it back as one unit. Roll back your unit. Come up over the vertebrae. The reason we cut those fins off is because now, instead of having to cut through that connected tissue at the end of the fins, now I can just glide right out. So there's the double, the two together. All right, and there's our carcass. Just, just different ways of seeing it. So this, this, I would generally serve two of these as a portion. This is just a different way of serving. So I'm serving it together. Um, but we're also going to skin them. So if you're going to come back now, you're going to put it right on the edge of your board, and you're going to just move your fingers like this. Come in at the end and make a little cut. That's going to be your handle. Hold onto that skin and pull the skin. I'm basically just stepping into that skin and sliding that off. Make sure you get it nice and clean. So there's that. There's our fancy skin. And there's that can go into bone. That's actually good bone. Um, do that one more time. So run your fingers down the side, make a little handle, come back. What are the little guys called? Fletches. Fletch. Oh. Right, and this is, this is too big. One side. So, fletch and side. Yeah. Okay? So, that's it.